So in my venture of research for another illegal immigration video that I am trying to do, I come across this piece of pro-open borders cancer right here. And it kind of reminds me of another article that I stumbled across titled, Oops, You're Racist. And I did a video on that on that specific or article that I am mentioning. I'll provide a link down below for it if you want to check out that video yourself. But the similarities between the Oops, You're Racist article and this one right here is that they both don't add any real substantive argument to the conversation. They just participate mostly in name calling of the opposition. It's not, I'm not saying right here that all people who are pro open borders that they are absolutely cancerous in their argument. They might have a few, a few substantive arguments to help back up their agendas, but I'm specifying at this article right here that it is absolute cancer. And so the article starts off with the title, Are Illegal Immigrants Really Taking American Jobs? So it starts off with this type of title to try and make you think that it is an unbiased article actually going to analyze the question, Are Illegal Immigrants Really Taking American Jobs? And you know, it kind of almost shows to have a bit of a right-leaning slant to it since this woman, Courtney Tucker, actually uses the correct terminology illegal immigrants. But getting into the article right here, are illegal immigrants really taking American jobs? Donald Trump keeps saying that illegals are taking our jobs, but how honest is that statement? Donald Trump, among millions of Americans, believe that illegals are taking American jobs, but is that a true statement? I mean, the majority of illegal immigrants work the jobs we would not want to partake in. They are the ones picking the fruit and scraping up cow manure. Let's think logically here for a minute. What American would want to do these jobs? I don't know. What Mexican or illegal immigrant would want to do these jobs? I don't think it is a question of who would want to do these jobs, but who would do these jobs, realizing that they need to do these jobs. So there is no want to this question right here. Because I don't see Americans banging down the door trying to get hired at a farm. Yes, and they aren't banging down the door for a whole lot of other boring and monotonous jobs for that matter as well. Many of the Americans that I hear claim this ridiculous statement wouldn't be caught dead scraping up cow manure. That's right, Donald. I'm looking at you. And in what evidence do you have of this? Is this just your presumed... Now, Donald Trump aside here, she's making a generalized statement for people who make the, quote, ridiculous statement about this, saying that they wouldn't be caught dead scraping up cow manure. And on what observation do you have of this? Is this just your own opinion about the person, or do you have some actual evidence to back this up, like something that they said? I don't know. It's just... It's really lacking in substance, like I said, this article is. Not only do these illegals work crap jobs, they get crap pay. Please enlighten me as to what American adult would be willing to clean up after cows for $5 an hour. Of course, we wouldn't want to do that for $5. If we had to do these jobs, we would want one heck of a pay raise. Also, Americans complain a lot. Heck, the majority of Americans complain about having an office job, so you could imagine what hard work and little pay would result to. Yes, Americans complain about their jobs a lot, but despite complaining about their jobs, they realize that they have to do those jobs because they want to work for a living. They want to be able to pay their way through life. And the fact that Americans might complain a lot about their jobs in general, I don't see of how this is overwhelming proof that Americans absolutely would not do farm work. So if it isn't illegals that are taking American jobs, what is? I don't know, you haven't really established as to really why it isn't illegals that are taking American jobs. You haven't analyzed that at all. All you have done right here in your first couple of paragraphs is just smear Americans. You haven't provided the least bit of evidence or the least bit of 
of substance of all, at all, Miss Courtney Tucker, that Americans wouldn't, or that illegal immigrants are not taking American jobs. You haven't provided the least bit of argument towards that. You've done nothing but smear Americans in your first two paragraphs. Well, here is my answer to that. Science is. Back in the old days, many Americans worked in factories and made a decent living. Well, as our technology advanced, many factory owners started switching from real-life humans to robots, which is a brilliant business strategy because a robot gets more work done in less time and all in all, it is way cheaper. Also, I have never heard of a robot calling in sick because he had a hangover from partying the night before. Simply put, robots are replacing people. Yes, there are people to operate and fix the robots, however, it takes way fewer people to press a button than to stand on the assembly line physically putting pieces together. Have you ever called a business and got a machine? Say, maybe you are trying to pay your phone bill and you get the automated spiel about pressing 1 if you want information and pressing 2 to speak with an associate. That, too, used to be a job. There used to physically be a person on the other end to direct you, but that too has changed due to science and technology. There has already been talk of self-driven cars and when, not if, but when that happens, there goes the cab drivers, the Uber drivers, etc. So yet another example of how our pristine technology will knock many people out of a job. So before you go around using this idiotic statement, I encourage you to really think Maybe it really isn't the illegals stealing our jobs. It could be we have become so technologically advanced that we need fewer humans doing the actual jobs. And I would encourage you, Miss Courtney Tucker, to start thinking yourself. I really don't think anyone denies that robots are replacing people, that machines are replacing people and some jobs. And that if you want to use the word taking, Yes, they are taking, quote-unquote, jobs of Americans. But, here's the difference. The reason why Americans don't want illegal immigrants is because it does. Because they do take American jobs. But here's the difference between machinery and illegal immigrants. Legally, those said illegal immigrants are not supposed to be in the country. But there is nothing illegal about putting in a machine to replace American, real life Americans to work that job. So this does not derail the whole argument that illegal immigrants take away American jobs, because they do. They have higher advantages than Americans as to they are able to work cheaper wages than Americans are because Americans are bound by law to be paid a certain minimum wage by their employers. Whereas illegal immigrants, they can work around the system to get paid under $7.25 an hour or whatever the federal minimum wage would be. So that is an advantage that they have over natively born Americans. And it is one of the reasons why Americans are against illegal immigration is because illegal immigrants have advantages over Americans to take jobs from them when they aren't even supposed to be in the country.